Thanks for tuning in to the Palm Beach Podcast, a weekly show highlighting people making a positive impact in our community. With your hosts, sports chiropractor and athletic trainer, Dr. James Spencer, photographer and art director, Mike Jones. Our show is brought to you by Pomp House Coffee Roasters, Opportunities in Delray Beach, and the Lotus Travel Company for retreats and tours in Palm Beach County. Hello, and welcome to the Palm Beach Podcast. My name is Mike Jones, I'm hanging out at Media Zone with some cool people. Dr. James Spencer, how you doing today, buddy? Fantabulous. How about yourself? Fantabulous. I'm feeling pretty fantabulous as well. I like it. Blue sunny skies out there today. Especially on Friday. It's a good day. And I be- believe we have a special guest with us in the studio today, don't we? The Flohemian herself. Hi, guys. Welcome Hi. to the show. Thank you very much. Yeah. What well, do you think about Media Zone? Uh, it's so cool. It's very zen. And I'm appreciating the Pump House coffee on tap. Wow. I start most mornings with Pump House. I live right around the corner from Grandview. Okay. We're like not even 15 seconds into the episode and we're already sponsoring <laughs> sponsored plugs. We like it. Thank you, Alex and Christian. <laughs> yes. Thank you, boys. And thank you for joining us. Thank you. I know we, uh, we we were saying before we started the show today that you've been our, on our radar for a long time because you hang out with all of the people that we've had on our show in the past. And so thank you so much for joining us in the studio. It's a pleasure. And it's cool because I, I found out about you guys um, from Crystal at E Palm Beach. She gave you guys a shout out on her story, um, and then I started listening to you guys because in my 9 to 5, I'm a pharma rep, and I'm on the road a lot, so I started listening to you guys, and when Jana was on, I'm like, yeah, it's my home girl, yeah. and I gave you a shout out, and I was like, oh, this is a great podcast, love you guys, and you're like, we reached out, and I'm like, oh, yep, I see the DM. Check I was DM in July. <laughs> definitely in the Keys during lobster season. There was rum runners involved, so sorry Uh-oh. it took Shucks. so long, but at this point, I've listened to you guys. I feel like I know you a little bit, so it's cool. Okay. I appreciate that. So why don't you tell the listeners a little bit about your brand, how it got started, and the name specifically. Sure. So um, my blog is The Flohemian. I'm your guide to an offbeat Florida lifestyle. Um, So I really like to highlight local destinations in Florida where the locals would go. And things are just really authentic to our state. So if it is a tourist trap, but this tourist trap has been around since the late 1800s, like something like St. Augustine Alligator Farm, like why is it important? So if someone's looking for a theme park blogger to take you to the typical tourist stuff. I'm not the person, but I'm really the local guide. And I really have an audience that is mostly Floridians or people that aspire to be local Floridians. So it's really the local guide for locals around Florida. So you're not taking us just to Disney. No, I'm not taking you to Disney. I did go to Disney (laughs) in October because I had a nephew that had a birthday party there and like, I, I thought about it. I'm like, should I go for the sponsor tickets? I'm like, but I can't be honest about Disney if it's mm. sponsored. Like Disney's whack. It's a lot of lines. And <laughs> it's it's great for little kids, but it's just not my vibe. Like I would rather have people go, you know, paddle Riverbend and encounter an alligator or go to the Everglades. So that's my goal. Getting back in nature, which is really cool, right? Yeah. And I think 2020 was really great for that, where we took a step back from everything that was man made for a bit we had to go back to nature and i know when i was uh looking for a paddleboard for my dude you know in the summer they're like we're out we can't keep paddleboards mm-hmm. in stock the bike stores were empty so people are getting back outside so uh, a lot of 2020 content was on the paddleboard outside and 2021 probably even more i like that you know my mom asked me what do you want for the holidays and i, I responded with a fossil trip a fossil trip yeah that's Wait, cool what spot are you looking at like the peace river that's probably where we'll end up going so mike and i are both from venice mm-hmm. which obviously shark's tooth capital of the world right yes um <laughs> and after you have about a hundred million of these shark's teeth which is awesome i said i, I think i want to start exploring the peace river so get that megalodon man i yeah. got two already what amazing i think so. you gave one of them to the studio i think there's one in the there's, yeah there's one the out sand there. trap out there. that's yeah. so cool i haven't done the peace river yet it's definitely on the bucket list Heck i yeah. hear great things it's gonna be awesome so uh, tell the listeners about Flohemian, how the name gets started. So the Flohemian started, I mean, I have gone through a series of blog names. Um, my first one was the Salty Scientist back when I was a science teacher, um, <laughs> teaching about ocean acidification and ocean chemistry. Um, and then when that phased out, I became the global local. 
Um, and my manager was riding around the car with me. He's like, wow, you're really bohemian. You know, you're artsy, you're traveling, you're kind of like wandering all over the place. I'm like, yes, but I'm really Floridian. And so he's like, a Florida boho? I'm like, no, I'm Flohemian. So yes. I that term just kind of started identifying with me. It's my personal style. Like it's a little bit boho, but very Florida. Um, and just how I embrace life and anything I do in artwork has always been inspired by Florida. So, you know, if you look at what a bohemian definition, it's an artsy person that's kind of wandering. I'm that person, but it's just within Florida. I like it. And it also taps into our what our conversations of flow state. Yeah, we're uh, all about and even especially in nature is where you probably find it the most where you just like you forget about the shopping list and everything else. And if I would if someone was to ask me to describe Florida, I would the first thing that I would think of would be like, you know, outdoors here, the beaches, the estuaries. Um, and we were saying up in St. Augustine, it's gorgeous up there as well. Um, so we're really fortunate to call this place home, right? We are. And I think Florida is such a unique space. First of all, we're a pretty big state and we have a lot of diversity in our wildlife. So going back to my college education, I was an environmental science major. So we had a lot to learn. You learn about coastal ecosystems. You learn about the scrub. You learn about the mangroves, the springs. So we have so much nature to explore in our state that's different. If you go to north central Florida, it's completely different from what you see in the Keys and Miami. So we're really blessed. And I think Floridians we really have that attitude of like, we want to explore our home. We're very proud of it. We're proud of the land. And there's a lot to see. And people that aren't there yet, because they're, they're, trust me, there's Floridians that are like, I hate it here. <laughs> the heat, the mosquitoes. And part of like what my job is, is for them to see it. And, you know, I, I think I've had some success where people are like, I didn't realize all that we had in our backyard. I'm like, yeah, man, get out there. Go see it. Not only go see it, experience it. Yes. Right. Like I, I think that's when you throw yourself into that environment, whether it's paddle boarding with manatees up at, you know, the Crystal River or um, even down south a little bit towards Naples with a lot of the old Native American uh, burial grounds and stuff like that. It's really neat when you get uh, into that connection, whether it's with the state itself or even just being aware of what this location is really about. I like that. Yeah. And a lot of different types of people have migrated to this space that we call Florida over a long time, which gives us a really cool, colorful, crazy history too. Yeah. We're a melting pot in Florida. We are. I, I, always cool. say, I, I had said that if um, America's a melting pot, that Florida's the flame. I like that. Yeah. That's so funny. Well, like when I first moved here, I had no idea that like Blue Heron Bridge it's like world renowned for diving. People come from all over the world to like learn how to scuba dive at the bridge here. It is actually in like the year that I went to Australia, I'm like, oh, Australia has to have the top diving site. And actually the Blue Heron Bridge was like the yeah. number one <laughs> diving site of that year, which was in 2015. So I'm like, what? And that, that was the year I also moved to West Palm Beach. So it's and, cool. And fortunately, we get to peek at that right outside. Yeah, it's... uh strategically placed behind media zone for, uh, <laughs> yes I, sunny days gosh your commute to work is a real bummer just driving seeing peanut island the it's sunshine tough. uh the big the, the fisherman that i still haven't taken a selfie with it's a good roadside stop but it is you gotta do it it's <laughs> honestly it's it's a cool experience too even if you come on the north side of the island driving through a little bit of the park there and uh and looking at the tides because you'll see different sea life out there Oh, yeah. I mean, some of the best um, invertebrates can be viewed at uh, Blue Heron Bridge yeah. scuba diving. We have nudibranchs. We have a lot of cool little critters there, octopus. So. Seahorses, I believe. Oh, yes. yeah. So. so it's a really cool dive spot. And I do have to compliment you on bringing like the lily themed outfit and the pink earrings today. Like, <laughs> I'm very, very like, Palm Beach of you. But very Flohemian, too, because yeah. I'm not prepped out. I got like my, my the rugged jean jackets on the top. So, yeah. Little, you know. <laughs> Exactly. That's my style. You got to mix it up. But it's very cool how there really is like a look, a vibe, a style for for this region. Um, and Lily Plitzer, obviously, huge influence with, with all of that. And again, it ties in with our history. I know yeah. when you're looking at that Peanut Island bunker that, uh, you know, Kennedy used to hang out in and Lily Pulitzer really was brought to the table by Jackie O. So it all ties into our history. So our, our identity is very strong with the Lily and the style and the story that goes along with it. Maybe Marilyn Monroe went to that bunker. Only time will tell. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get like, you know, like a psychic out there. I mean, like, was her presence here? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> That's the Florida tour that needs to happen. Yeah, we can make it happen. Yeah, we can make it happen. What's your favorite site locally? My favorite site locally, um, I have to say, because I was just there last week in Riverbend, yeah. um, paddling that. So I did a pretty um, concise Instagram story on it, which is still in my highlights. But when you go to Riverbend Park, you know, you're starting off. And then once you go over the dam and you're really in the Cypress Swamp of the Loxahatchee River, first of all, the water is magical. It's actually really clear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. From far away, it looks like brown. But when you look down into it, it's clear water. It's just the br- the bottom's mucky. And I saw a six-foot alligator. And there's twists and turns. And it, it's, it's a fast current pushing you through. And it's just a really fun paddle. And you're out in the middle of nowhere. But it feels safe because... Um, Jupiter Outdoor Center, they run tours through all the, there all the time. So, like, if you're feeling like, oh, it's, you know, that's a pretty big alligator, there's at least, like, a couple other people around you. Yeah. My yeah your w- odds are, like... <laughs> my wife and son and I did that this this past uh, year, and it was a cool experience going out there because I'm like, oh, boy, it's just the three of us, and they're a little nervous. But it's exactly what you just said. There's tons of people around you, so it's really no big deal. Yeah, you're out there, but you feel safe. And um, actually, you can... Uh, take Riverband all, all the way down um, through Trapper Nelson's camp. And um, if you're not familiar with him, he's just like the original Florida man, just mm-hmm. like trapping animals <laughs> and like selling pelts. Um, they still have a little spot right there, right? Yeah. yeah. So you can you can go to the camp and then you can take it all the way to Jonathan Dickinson Park, which is another great area. It's a great mountain bike riding spot, right? I know, which I'm like terrified of mountain biking because like the ground is unforgiving, but I want to try it so bad at that park. I went one time with a friend. He's like, yeah, I'll bring you an extra bike. And like it was hardcore, like full ramps um, and like a race course. And I fly the drone and after like doing one lap around and like almost peeing my pants the whole way, <laughs> I was like, OK, I'm just going to take photos from now on because I don't want to like break my collarbone. I'd rather just like capture the moment because it's stunning out there, though. Like when the drone went up, miles and miles and miles of trees and then the the little riding area just right in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really cool. I say that I'm really Floridian because I I have a problem with incline and decline. (laughs) (laughs) Like when I went skiing, I was like crushing it on the bunny slopes. And then you took me on like a mountain. I was just like, oh, man, I don't know what I'm doing here. So. At least that's like a, a, a calmer course. I should try it out because every time I go out to Colorado, my fiance is like, let's go mountain bi- biking. I'm like, I might die. So <laughs> that's a good place to get my feet wet. <laughs> and we love skateboarding and Florida's like totally flat, right? And the only place where there's really hills is like Tallahassee. Well, I'm going to take that back. Actually, Jupiter Hills is the tallest destination in Florida. Okay. Is there yeah. some, are there some secret spots you've been holding out on me? No, it's, it's a golf course right up the street near Tequesta. Really? And it's the highest elevation in Florida. Oh, another good sh- spot yeah. for you to check Which out. Which is right next to Jonathan Dickinson Park. Oh. That's a fun fact Friday. Fun fact Friday. We're getting so many fun facts for fun facts. <laughs> <laughs> I love being here. Um, but another good spot for you to check out is uh, Claremont. Claremont has Sugarloaf Mountain, which is not really technically a mountain, but it's one of the highest hills we have in Florida. Sure. I used to work for or consult for a high school that was in Claremont. Oh, really? Mount Verde Academy there. Claremont's kind of cool with the lakes and everything. A completely different feel, but uh, the Florida Citrus Tower is out there. It's a cool little spot. Nice community. It's a hidden gem for all the triathletes, too, because of the elevation. I actually have been to that triathlon. I was a relief on a paddleboard one year for the swimmers. (laughs) I never did the triathlon thing, but sometimes when they need a volunteer, I'm like, yeah, I'll get out there. Really cool spot up there. So let me ask, like, um, you know, say I'm, I'm a listener and I live here in the county. Could I reach out to you and ask for, like, you know, a guided tour, some history, facts? Um, what, what would be some things that you would say if I asked you that? Like, most of my DMs are travel tips. A lot of times people just DM me and they say, hey, I'm going to Boca Raton with my family. What do I do? And I'm like, well... Go to Delray instead because I feel like it's a little more kid friendly. It's more outdoorsy stuff. And I really like to guide them around. Um, here are the kid friendly spots in Boca that you can pop through. But here's a full day, you know, plan of what you could do. Um, a lot of if, if they're like an avid follower, I definitely take the time out to help guide them around the state. Um, and really like what my blog is about is promoting things that are like locally owned. So I want to make sure people are not coming here. And they're not going to Chili's for lunch. I'm like, no, go to my spot. This is my favorite area. And really 
tapping into local advice and you know people ask me um for a lot on the dms and ask me for you know what to see but i want to point out what a big part of it is my community is that i do tell me tuesday so i put out i like that i do a question and i'm like hey uh what are the best spots in pensacola and people will share and give me the best tips in pensacola cool. if i'm heading that way so um, it's been a great community. And when I was going to Asheville in the summer, I mean, we're talking about outside of Florida. I'm like, hey, what do Floridians like to do in Asheville? And I got so many tips. And really, like, it was my following that guided me through. So it's an exchange of information on my platform where it's not just me being the expert like, oh, I found this place. I'm like, no, I found this place. It was from, you know, Alyssa in West Palm Beach. Like, I like to shout out people like, thanks for helping me on my vacation. Cool. So and then like when you think about it, um, you know, I think back to like my early childhood. You know, I, I was born in Michigan. We moved here when I was six. Um, but my first memories were not from Michigan. It was from my vacations in Florida. So if I can touch people on their vacation or on their excursion or even just their Saturday to make an experience that's memorable, that's like worth everything to me. That's the best thing that I can bring to somebody. I love it because we were just up in, in North Carolina and Literally, I'm on Yelp looking around to go, all right, what can we do, right? And I'd rather just ask a local. Yes, ask a local or someone that is aspiring to be in that space all the time. Like, for example, I'm not a local to St. Augustine technically, but I'm there enough where I'm like, I could point you out to some good spots. So sure. it's cool. And uh, a lot of times for, you know, when people DM me like, hey, do you know where I can go in Gainesville? And I'm like, no, I don't. But I throw up a Tell Me Tuesday. I got all these Gainesville tips to send off to somebody. And actually, my friend Jamil just did that. And she she did most of the tips that were brought up on that Tell Me Tuesday. That's so funny. I laugh because uh, this guy we saw walk by us in North Carolina was wearing the Purple Porpoise shirt, which is an old bar in Gainesville. Yeah. Is it still oh. open? No. Oh, no, know. this was open in the 90s. <laughs> oh, really? So that it was just ironic that you bring up Gainesville of all the places. The only, I mean, all my memories of Gainesville are pretty foggy because I haven't been there since I was like, you know, 22. <laughs> no reason to go there. <laughs> <laughs> that, you know, there's some cool nature spots, though. If you're into nature, there's yeah. a Payne's Prairie State Park, which I haven't been, but apparently can see wild buffalo in Florida and wild horses. Really? So, yeah, there's your reason to go Gainesville. I like it. Well, now uh, with Crystal coming out with her book, you know, it's probably nice to be like, oh, yeah. And um, by the way, here's this fantastic $20 book that you can sit on your coffee table. Oh, absolutely. And it has a bunch of great spaces to go as well. And I think it's so cool because like this is my niche. I, I blog about floor all the time, but I picked up Crystal's book and I found so many places that I, could, I still haven't tapped into. And I love that everything has a checkbox next to it. Where I'm like, okay, we check this off oh, the list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's an it's an interactive book where you can check off things on your list. So I um, took it to actually did an Instagram story on this as well, but I took it for a little tour around my neighborhood. Oh, that's cool. And I uh, I went to the Armory Art Center and um, the the cemetery, the West Palm Cemetery. It's called Lawnwood Cemetery, technically, where the Barefoot Mailman, one of the originals, is buried. And I learned it all from her book, and it's. Cool because some places I knew, like I walk past the Armory Center when I'm walking my dog every morning, but seeing it with like new eyes. So, you know, it's it's cool to pick up other people's tips. And I think a lot of people come into blogging like, oh, I'm an expert in this. <laughs> and like, good luck. If you're an expert in anything, you haven't, you're not going to learn anything. So that means you're dumber than half the people in the room with that attitude. But it's cool when you're in the travel space and you really open yourself up to other people's tips. Like, I'm a sponge. I don't know everything. Tell me where to go. And I'm just sh resharing information that's been told to me. As soon as you think you know everything, you've lost. You're in trouble. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, I like your open mindedness and uh, not only willingness to learn, there's really no ego. You just want to have fun, enjoy the experience and share it with others. It's all about having a good time. It's all about the journey. Yeah. I well, like that. We, we need to tell Crystal she needs to make it 112 because she missed Media Zone. You know, like she, <laughs> she left one off the uh, list to check off. So yeah, she needs the adjunct book and you know, throw out Media yeah, Zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the updated version 2.0. <laughs> So let's talk about 2021. So What's for, some goals for this year? For 2021, um, what I am starting is a subscription box. It's going to be called the Flohemian Post. And um, outside of being a subscription box, there's a lot of subscription boxes out there. 
But what makes the Flohemian Post different is that it is Florida local businesses and products. And the box is going to show up to your doorstep and it's going to be a guide through a region of Florida. So I'm starting off with the Palm Beaches box. Um, So I'm sourcing products only made in Palm Beach County. So there'll be about five to seven locally made products. In addition to that, um, I I do artwork for mostly hobby, but I designed the box where it's a souvenir box. So you get this box going to have all these great souvenirs for you already packed it's your welcome kit to the palm beaches and then from there you have the souvenir box so as you go travel as you go experience things and whatever pictures whatever notes whatever brochures you pick up because i'm a collector when i travel you have a souvenir box that um you know the front is going to be um i have pictures of it on my instagram but it's going to be the worth tower and it looks like a postcard really cool and the inside is cool print that I made it has a Jupiter lighthouse it actually has Kennedy in it because uh and I'm gonna have stickers as well because I'm a big sticker fan I like to sticker bomb a lot of my stuff so um yeah yeah. stickers are a real thing stickers are and that was and I never thought to put it in a subscription box and I put it out you know to my community like what do you want to see in the box and everyone's like stickers I'm like easy let's do it let's go for stickers that's cool I would also suggest the postcard could be even a piece of artwork right Absolutely. And it's funny because the postcard thing really started. I mean, if you look at my branding, it's supposed to be like a digital postcard to Florida. Um, even my website looks like a postcard. Um, but when I was in quarantine, I I just said, hey, guys, send me your address. I'm going to send you a postcard. And I did this like postcard campaign. So I'm trying to think of a way to incorporate that in the box where whether, you know, you send me a postcard back, you have a souvenir postcard to keep on your shelf or to send to a friend. But I, I love the beauty of, you know, sending someone you love a postcard. So I, I did that in quarantine. Like people I've never met before have a postcard from me sitting on their shelf. I love it. And I, I like the idea because I collect postcards, especially of Florida. Oh, really? So I, I think it's a cool concept and something that brings back old history to present day. We have so many things to talk about offline yeah. because <laughs> I have a couple good postcard spots because I do the same. And I actually used to make like coasters of old Florida postcards and yeah. give them as gifts. Yeah. And if there's one thing that I that I would like to say for like the listeners and the viewers is, you know, channel your energy into something that's positive and creative, especially like with this year, there were so many people that got stuck in a rut and, you know, just became like keyboard warriors or whatever. And it's so nice and refreshing to sit across from you and listen to the ideas, the upbeat, the inspiration. Pure Um, passion. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's the thing is that we really need to start connecting and understanding each other. I think we're really divided as a people. And the more things we can find to connect on, because never not everyone's going to think the same. Mm -hmm. But and I think that's the beauty of my page is I have people from all walks of life following me. And I don't really care, you know, what you do on this side. I don't care as long as you're a good person, you're passionate about experiencing this place making it better you know only leaving the footprints behind and making the community stronger you're a right follower for me so I attracted a lot of different type of people people are like what does your follower look like I'm like I can only say Floridian because it, it's so diverse you know we're, we I'm have- sure people in Michigan follow too because they're like I'm cold right now you know what's <laughs> funny is that when I was doing the postcards I realized I'm like kind of cool in Pennsylvania I have a lot hey, of Pennsylvania followers go. and it's a lot of people that want to move here and a lot of times people DM me like I'm looking to move to Florida where should I live I'm like tell me about your life what do you like to do great question how many kids do you have what's your income look like and you know I'll give you some ideas visit those spots get a VRBO, stay in a house, um, see if you like the area, see if you like the neighborhood, and make your decision that way. Well, that was the Wolf of Wall Street, like, sell me this pen. It's like, well, how long have you been in the market for a pen for? What's yeah. a quality in a pen that you really like? Like, not just being like, oh, this pen has a great ballpoint, and, like, selling the pen, it's asking questions first to learn, like, why they're in the market for a pen, yes. and then sell them the right pen. If you need a consultative sale on where you want to live in Florida, like I'm your girl. I got you. <laughs> Boom. And I will say just uh, not to get too political, but I loved your post about like uh, I was thinking of it as a dog cookie and it was like a uh, Biden Trump or my dog with the check mark on my dog. Yes. Amazing. It, that was my most popular post yes. of all time. It got so circulated and it I, I'm like a proud mom right now that my dog is my number one post <laughs> on Instagram and it went viral by my my standards. I, it had like 1800 likes on it. So Staffy? 
Uh, she is a, a pity. Pit? Yeah, if, yeah. You know, who knows? Half pit, whole pit. Who gives a pit? <laughs> Um, but yeah, it, it's so funny because people really resonate with that. They're like, I don't know who to pick. They're both terrible. I really feel like <laughs> Hazel Bay is the best option we have right now. I'm like, yeah, man, me too. I don't know. So it's cool because like it, it was a really uniting message. Again, all walks of life, like they resonate with that. Dogs over people. Yeah, I didn't never want to be dividing, um, you know, and divide people and, you know, judge people because you don't know where people come from. And I think that my background, I was a teacher for four years in low income neighborhoods in Florida. So you never know where someone's mindset's coming from. And a lot of times disagreement or ignorance, you can't you can't attack people for it. You need to educate them. Cool. My post this morning, peace, love, and light. Peace, love, and light. I like that. It's beautiful, bro. Yes. So let's uh, let the listeners know where we can find you online. Okay. So you can find me online at theflohemian.com. So think of the word bohemian, but put flow in front of it instead. That's how you spell it. And on Instagram, Twitter at facebook all the things it's at the flohemian so beautiful well thank mm-hmm. you so much for sharing with the listeners and coming on the show oh of course i really appreciate the time it's been a good time here and i think just anyone you want to thank on the way out i definitely want to thank my dude we're getting married may 25th this year wow we're eloping in colorado so i'm very Congrats. excited and uh you know i thank him because he was really the start of the flohemian when we i first moved down here is when we started dating and I was like, hey, babe, do you want to go on the tri-rail and ride it two hours down to Miami and just walk around? And he was like, yeah, I'm down for it. So he really embraced my adventurous spirit, and he he was always down for the journey. So a lot of our experiences are, are shared on, you know, on my blog. So cool. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you so much. And uh, I think we'll have to get you back in here for some more Fun Fact Fridays soon. Oh, yeah. So stay tuned for Florida Fun Fact Friday. I'm going to credit you guys for the ones I discovered. Oh, here. <laughs> this guy's a lot of alliteration. This guy's full that. of them. <laughs> well, well, cheers. Thank you so much. Cheers. We'll see you soon. You. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of the Palm Beach Podcast. Our show is brought to you by Pomp House Coffee Roasters opportunities in Delray Beach, and the Lotus Travel Company for retreats and tours in Palm Beach County.